Well, looks like coin currency coming at you one more time on this foreign coin stuff. This here, any help again, appreciate it. This is a 1921 Chamber of Commerce. Deorum. And it's got a 10 on it. Nice palm tree. Very light. Feels like it's plain money. Now the next one is an 1853 to 1953 um, Centenario de Martin. Republic of Cuba. Must be a centennial coin. And I believe on the back... It does state that it's worth, uh, it looks like 25 cents. All right, Republic of Cuba. Um, the next one I got here is a 1932. Conful Helventica. If I'm saying it right. Right. What did I say the date was? 1932. Can we see? Can we get a picture of the date? There we go. Has a nice little. And it's got a 10 on it. Feels like play money. It's got a little shine. And here we have a 1933 New Zealand George V King and Emperor. See if we can get the date in there. Get my finger out of the way. Oh, the date's on the reverse. How about me? New Zealand. Three. The la next one is in 1880, Alfonso the 12th. And I have no idea. On this it has Alfonso the 12th. I see this guy's picture on a few older coins from around. There we go. And it's got... Um, uh, P O R lag de Dios 50 cents, and I believe that says 1880. And we can get that in there, and then the reverse. Fifty cents. And then here we have a nineteen twenty one. Canadian coin, um, Georgius, George Vius the fifth, Georgius. I don't know how you would say that. This one feels like it's copper. I'm sure. Nineteen twenty-one, upside down. There we go, and maybe nineteen oh one. And on this here, it's got, let's look at this on the reverse. Come on, focus in. Of course, we got it upside down. It's a two with the KB mint mark. Oh, that's what I wanted. I've got to go back, and this is a 1901. I think I had another coin here that had that special mint mark on it. Yes, the 1932 Helvetica got a mint mark on it here on the bottom There's a B on the bottom of the coin right there Again a list of coin currency. Thank you for your time and any help would be appreciated. Bye